Hold up a minute, boys. Hold up a minute. So the second day of our trip, once we got finished, we tucked into a lovely carvery and we had a few beers and we stayed over in some local accommodation. The beds were a little bit close for comfort for me and Jack. And I know that Jack certainly was in for a cozy night's sleep. Look at this. Jack, I'm not being funny. I don't think you're gonna fit on that bed, lad. You're too wide. That's going to be a comfy night, isn't it? <laughs> After a great night's sleep, we was up early and back on our way to the shoot again. I think we had a bit of rain overnight, Jack. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We had a lovely full English at the shoot manor again and it was time to get kitted up and ready for another day out in the field. We had a short trip round to the opposite side of the chute and got out the vehicles, got everything ready and walked over and it was like a rushy, sort of perfect porridge ground, nice little bits they can nestle in and hide. Uh, was walking along, a um, couple of lads got some porridge and then a hare got up in front of me and they wanted a hare for the dogs again to train them with and uh, I missed it both barrels. Well that shoots low. Yeah, it's low as well. Right. Down or not? No. What you'll see from the clip is how low I was on it. Like I haven't shot that gun for a, quite a while now. Um, but what it did was open my eyes as to how low the gun was shooting. So normally with my blazer I shoot it quite high, quite a high point of impact. With this it was very low, which is classic of a side by side I suppose, flat shooting game gun. Um, but it was good actually because if I hadn't have seen that from missing that hair, then I'd have probably missed partridge all day underneath. Um, not enjoyed my day and lost confidence so uh, straight away I knew I needed to be a bit higher on the line and the next partridge that got up I did get Run. There you got it. So it was lovely to start the season shooting my old blazer, um, but for the second day I fancied doing something different. So what I did was I brought along my old side by side. Now this is a, an old English gun that I've had for a few years now. Um, it's over a hundred years old and it's called a William Garden um, uh, of Aberdeenshire or something like that. But Yeah it's it's a lovely lovely little gun. I can't shoot side by sides for toffee but I thought it's a nice light gun, it's something fun to shoot and I thought this is a perfect shooting for it so I brought it along and I had a really fun day with it. Ooh. Gonna tower. No, yeah, that's that stone dead. Really? Yeah. yeah.
Huh? Yeah, but I don't know if they want any more. No, we don't want any more. Cool. What I'll do, mate, is I'm going to come another 50, 60 yards and then we'll pull out and reline down the field and lift it up here. What? Fucking hell, you sleep down there. <laughs> yes. That bird's going to tower. There he goes. In just, I think he's just over it, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Has that gone down or not? Basically, we have got the bird, been shot, and it's flown on and it's landed over the hedge just here. So now we've all stopped in a line and basically let the dog handlers work and find it but a couple of dogs have been over there but i reckon that it's probably stuck in a hedge so the keeper's just going over with the chap to see if it's in there and we're obviously stood in line waiting no shooting whilst his dog's out or people out of line so yeah we'll um see if they find this one there we go so it was stuck in the hedge so basically when they went over there they placed it back out in the field, walked back, sent the dog over to collect it, just keeps their confidence up. So, another one in the bag. Oh, wow. Good shot. Oh. Christ, look at all that. All them partridges are coming at you, Andy, so just hope they'll go. Good girl. Well On this next drive, it was my special moment. The only problem was I forgot to press record and I didn't record it, so I was absolutely gutted. But the special moment was my first left and right partridge with an English side by side driven. Like it was unbelievable. These birds out in front just all of a sudden started piling our way and the first lot were English and I shot left and right. I couldn't believe it. It was it was such a special moment and yeah, I was just good that I didn't get it on film but you can't catch it all, you know, in the heat of the moment I just got all excited and didn't record. That is your English, I think. Yeah. Left and right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't fucking record, did I? Stupid prick. There's one literally just there. Right in front of your feet, just oh, yeah, uh, yeah not, not far away from you. No, she was on top of it, wasn't she? She yeah. really landed on her. Bless her. Yeah. Bless her. That was well cool. Can't believe I didn't record that. Yeah, I said she won there and then one just there. Run. And then not too long after, um, so beaters were coming in from the right hand side doing this uh, strip of maize and a load more driven birds started coming towards us. So that was pretty exciting given that we we're on a walk up day and you all of a sudden are getting driven birds. As they come towards us, me and Jack shared a bird and quite amazingly he caught it. He actually shot and then put his hand up 
and caught the partridge, which was pretty cool. I almost got it on film, but not quite. You just catch him putting his hand out and, yeah, he caught a partridge, so that was pretty cool. So I'm coming in front now. Here they go, hold up a bit. Hold up a minute. Again. Go. Rob. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> what, you caught it? No, you didn't. No, I shot it and caught it. <laughs> no way. Yeah, that was the English. That was the English. That was the English. Yeah, definitely. Rob? Where's that cart, Dave? They're, they're the two boys are behind it. So are they? All oh, right. They're not better than just to stand there and fight. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> Running, Ange. She's just moved. She's following it. She's following the scent. That's it. Well done. I think I wadded that. Huh? I think I wadded it. <laughs> Be good eating that one. Yeah, it's all right. Nice truck. I ain't got a steady hand. It's all right. Bonnet's fucked on it anyway. God, this thing really is shit. Ah, you have to speed up that, you. <laughs> you are, bro. <laughs> this gun kicks harder than that side beside. Stop. What is it with all you lot and short guns? Absolute tarts. Well done, dog. Oh, who's got that speedo on my? I thought he was going to back me up. It's just very little movement. Yeah, okay. That's it's, what I think. I'm not sure what it's not going. like that. That's classy. This is shit. Oh, it's a heap of shit. Yeah. Are you going to buy it off me? No. no. Oh, what's happening? You're falling apart, man. By the time that was getting there, I was like, that is not going to be a nice shot. I was trying to save you. Put feathers in my mouth. Feathers in your mouth. We both get that. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well done. Well done, lad. Oh. Legend. And that concludes our two days shooting Walked Up Partridge. Two lovely days to start the season. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you again soon.